Life can certainly change in an instant, and for one wrestling family from Eagle Point, life will never quite be the same. Fox 12's Nick Krupke caught up with a 17-year-old high school senior whose spirits remain high despite recently losing part of his leg after a catastrophic injury at the state meet. Emilio Ayala is a smart kid who took up the sport of wrestling two years ago and his family moved up from Southern California to Southern Oregon. The soon-to-be 18-year-old Eagle Point High School senior is a testament to will, courage, and strength. And that has nothing to do with his athletic achievements on the mat or the football field for the Eagles. The AP Honors student connected with us on Saturday afternoon from his hospital bed at OHSU place he's been since suffering a freak injury at the OSAA 5A state wrestling meet from Veterans Memorial Coliseum five weeks ago. I'm so excited and ready. I just, I don't want to, it sounds kind of mean, but I just don't want to be here no more. I want to go back and be in my comfort zone. We all get it. No one wants to be subject to 12 surgeries in 24 days like Emilio Ayala has. I just deal with the pain. There's obviously going to be pain, but um, I guess you can say I still feel like I have two legs. Emilio had his right leg amputated below the knee three weeks ago. I just powered through it. I, just, I know I'm going to be fine. I'm going to get a prosthetic and I'll just be back to normal. Ayala suffered an unnormal takedown at the 5A OSAA State Wrestling Tournament on February 25th, the final match of his prep career. So it was bad. My knee was bent in the L shape. My ACL, my MCL was torn, some major arteries. That ended up killing a bunch of muscle in my calf, and I wasn't able to move my foot because that muscle was dead, like at all. And it felt worse than one can imagine. It was a freak accident as they say, like this normally doesn't happen. It's uncommon and it just severed everything. What the injury did not sever was Emilio's humor. So they called you six foot two? Yeah. Six two? That's a killer nickname, yeah. man. Six I might now. be six three now. I feel like I've grown. <laughs> Staying positive is everything in life. Things happen for a reason. You just gotta keep pushing on. You know, I can't whine about it. It's not gonna do nothing. So. It's just the bump in the road, man. I got to get through. While Ayala's doctors have told him his road back home will be Monday, Emilio actually wants to hang around and see the Rose City as a tourist first. He'll then continue to heal at home before knee reconstruction surgery in two months. And we'll also be fitted for a prosthetic. What a strong-willed and strong-minded kid. A GoFundMe account has been set up to assist Emilio and his family. You can find that link in this story on KPTV. Dot com. In studio, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.